And this feature provides deletion of some part of your model um, when deletion condition will be achieved. So right now I will go to the model tree and I will click on the edit because the, this deletion criteria is related to the material in Midas NFX. So in our case, as you see, uh, I just implemented the nonlinear material and at this moment to activate this criterion, we are supposed to check this shear failure checkbox. So what we can do? Um, we have to provide a value for effective plastic strain at failure. So in my model, let's assume it will be equal to 0 0.05, but it, uh, but it's supposed to, let's say, make some preliminary analysis to investigate how big are your strains. So I made that. Uh, before, so at this moment, um, I'm, I enter this value, so it's known by me already. Okay, so the material is still non-linear, non-linear with some plastic um, hardening option. So I'm clicking OK at this moment, and this is the first requirement which is necessary to activate this material deletion. The second one, we have to go to the analysis case and and go to subcase setting. So under the subcase setting I'm clicking on subcase control and from the general analysis control dialog box you see we have two element relation criteria in refer to the solver calculation. So so now I'm checking the criteria which, which is specified in material and additionally we can check the second option uh, which refers to, let's say, um, please delete elements with the negative volume. So second option I think will be more useful in more complex uh, models, um, more complex than mine, because right now I have only one part and which is subjected to tensile loading and, and it's relatively simple. Okay, so I will skip that, but you can use this to, to consider a negative volume and your mesh will be deleted. So at this moment, element deletion criteria and specified in materials. Now I'm clicking OK and I'm clicking OK. So all analysis setup like uh, time step and time interval has been already provided. And I will not calculate this model right now um, because we have no time to do that. So I will open the re result file. Now I'm clicking on the result. I'm checking that the real scale is in has been chosen. Let's uh, click on the total translation control and let's the, play the animation. So now I'm clicking on multi-step animation recording and I'm selecting all subcases and please provide me every second result. So I'm clicking OK. So as you see now I will display the solid strain effective plastic and I will go to the Proby tool and I will show you that strain for my model is equivalent to 0.5. So as you see this is the this is my criterion which has been set up in the material card. 